get top surgery now. So. <laughs> Don't be so happy about it. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I cannot even explain to you. I can't, I can't explain it really. It's 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 hard to explain all of the things that I'm feeling with my chest that it's taking me literally every day, every couple hours really to digest the next piece of like this, that's where my scar looks like in this spot or my nipples look like this or I'll pull my shirt tight and be like, what is this? It's pretty much just like, I feel like I woke up in someone else's body and like, trying to figure out <laughs> trying to like yes. someone else's that was m but mine like i don't know how to explain it but mm. it's uh i'm just like starting to get used to it and starting to get to know my body so i wanted to make sure and come on here and make an episode with you guys about my surgery my surgery day and uh my appointment after the day after mm -hmm. how's um i bet the the well you know because i've I'm sure we're feeling similar things because I also had to have surgery. You did what now? I also had to have surgery. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> this has been a year. Um, <laughs> right. So it also like that feeling and like this is a new body, mm -hmm. especially if you, when you're like numb. Right. Because then so you're like, <laughs> it's yours, but you can't feel it. Right, it's like, am I dissociating right now? <laughs> exactly, you're like, this part's mine. Whose is this? This part's mine. <laughs> right. <laughs> From top to bottom. Exa right, exactly. We're like, okay, me. me. Who the fuck? Me. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like someone's arms over the top of you, or but but no pressure, no weight, no. It's just such such a strange feeling. Yes. Yeah, it's good oh. though, right? It's amazing. It's changed so much for me and like just taking a breath and it's just, I feel, I feel very lucky to be able to get it and very blessed to be able to get it, the surgery in general. And uh, that's just been keeping a lot of, it's been like heavy on my mind, heavy on my mind, just lots of gratitude. Yeah. And um, that's, that was kind of how I was feeling the week before, or the day before surgery too. It was like a lot of gratitude, but a lot of nerves of being nervous of like, I was mainly nervous about my nipples. I don't know why. <laughs> like, you were. I was like, you were really worried. The first, like, uh, the, one of the last messages you sent me was in all caps. It says, "You better put my nipples in the right place." <laughs> <laughs> you were so, so worried about nipple placement, and I was like, "Well, you've seen his results, right? You've liked his nipple placement and all the other results, right?" And you're like. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, I don't. I don't know. I guess I was just. I was like, too small is fine. Too big is fine. But the placement, I can't. I don't know. I was just so nervous, and I yeah. just. Um, it was really the day before. I was trying to just basically distract myself. And it was really nice because I got the call saying that I was um, the first uh, appointment surgery of the day. So I had to be there at six o'clock, which means I didn't have to like wait a super long time to not eat or drink or uh, yes. like to, to like sit there and be anxious. So that made me super happy. And then I realized, wait, like my time with my chest is now cut even more short. Like I'm gonna wake up and they're taking them off. It's not gonna be like the last day or whatever. So the night before we had a lot of, uh, I had a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> me and Kayla were taking pictures of them, uh, just like trying to remember them, but like also be like, all right, see ya. It's been great, but right. Just, just like terrible. to show gratitude <laughs> to your body for carrying you to this point. And right. now it's yeah. time to say goodbye. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I made extra, I made extra specific time because of what you said about when you did that. So I specifically mm -hmm. even made time at the Airbnb to do that because I knew that like, you know, <laughs> you can't go back and and like have them back on again or like see them, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, right. I, you do, I did feel like I needed to say like, thank you for being that like protective. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't, I wasn't yeah. very associated to them, but uh, it was, it was, it was important. I thought, especially after you had told me about, about that. Yeah, for me, it was just like my my body. I I am not my body, you know, obviously my body is my vessel. I reside within it, 
My body is my home. And my home has been a certain way for 31 years. And then all of a sudden I'm doing this great renovation, mm -hmm. which is going to take a toll on my body. Right. So it felt like I needed to take a moment to not only show my body gratitude for making it to 31 and for being as healthy as I can feasibly be right now with my conditions and for carrying me through the healing process and for being a healthy enough body to allow me to get this kind of surgery. So for me, it was just kind of like that, like saying, like, thank you. Thank you for allowing me to do this to you. <laughs> right. Kind of, Thanks you know, like, up, bro. <laughs> right, right, exactly. And like, we're going to go through this. It's going to be hard, but we're going to go through it together. And you're going to feel lighter and I'm going to feel lighter and we're going to exist together more peacefully. Much better. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, that, yeah, I, I think that that it's a it's a nice little ritual to have before. And it's okay to have fun with it. Like, it doesn't have to be like a, you suck, <laughs> you know, yeah. like, yeah. I well, hate you. <laughs> you yeah. Know, like... Or even a super serious thing. Like, that was like the, the morning of, like, when we finally went in, in back to the surgery area. It was like, in, in like or like, not the surgery area, but like our actual back room. It was so much easier mm. for me to be goofy and like, like, it's so much easier to be light, lighthearted about it, about things. I feel like it helps you, die, you know like uh yes I, I stayed easier and stuff it was nice that like because kayla was with me and it was i was like thankful that she was there because i find myself being like wanting to make her feel better like oh it's gonna be okay like i'm good we're good everything's good kind of thing and like so i was being extra goofy to make her laugh which in turn her laugh was making me feel better so we were it was just like the perfect we were just we, we were just having a nice morning together and really doing like what we could to to feel good and stuff um and then it was it didn't take very long before they came back and put like an iv put something in my iv and yeah i remember thinking <clears throat> that, like i'm not having still haven't felt anything like it's kind of been but kind of been a minute and i haven't felt anything while before they were wheeling me back or whatever uh-huh uh I said goodbye to Kayla, I said I loved her, I'll be right back or whatever, and then they wheeled me uh, out of the room. I remember being wheeled out. I remember uh, them like, it always makes me feel like I should be like rolling along with them or like I should be like helping them, you know, when they're pushing you in the thing. Back yeah. in the room, I feel like you should be holding something or like, because they're literally carrying you there. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, I was the first surgery of the day. So it was yeah, like- Yeah, you fucking lucky motherfucker. <laughs> I, you could tell because everyone was like still putting things up. Everyone was quiet, like they just got there today or whatever. Or, and yeah. um, one of the one of the <laughs> girls um, was talking to an, the, the other nurse and said, uh, "You know, welcome back, welcome back." And she was like, "Oh, thank you, thank you." And then the side nurse was like, "She just got back from maternity leave." And um, and I was like, "No freaking way! Uh, my wife is pregnant. My wife and I like right now, and we were like so excited." And uh, she was like, oh, so she said, um, oh, really? Uh, how far along is she? I said, she's three months in. She said, oh, I'm three months out. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> and that made me laugh instantly. And I was like more relaxed because this is all in the OR room. Like, I'm still remembering all of this. <clears throat> and then they um, switched me over. They, they they asked me to slide myself over to the actual table and to lay back. And then that's the last thing i remember <laughs> i don't know how it specifically dropped at that specific time but yeah uh, but yeah and then the next thing i know i was it was really bright and i was trying to sleep and the next thing you know everyone and their mom is trying to freaking wake me up and i'm like you guys <laughs> i just went through so much i just need to take a sleep okay like leave me alone this light is way too bright kayla can you turn it off it's time to sleep now and they're like they're like, no, sweetie, you know, it's time to get up. It's time to get going. And I'm like, you, I didn't, I didn't sleep eight hours about the night before. Like, why are we waking me up? Like, I, looking back, I still think we should have let me nap a little longer, but no, whatever. It's fine. They and, gotta get you out, dude. Kay, That's so fucking funny. Kayla's like, I saw the video later of Kayla, like, rubbing my head. She's like, she's like, hey, come on, it's time to wake up. And I'm like, hmm. 
<laughs> I don't want to. She, not said, she really. said, she said, are you ready to get up? And you said, mm, not really. <laughs> not really. Like, you guys respect some boundaries. You know, they, so they were pretty much saying, like, oh, you need to go home and rest. And I kept telling, apparently I kept telling Kayla the whole time that I just wanted to go home. She's like, but you have to wake up to do that. Like, you have right. to open your eyes. <laughs> At least open your eyes. We will, like, maneuver your legs. Like, Kayla, I remember Kayla was, like, putting my boxers on. In my pants, uh -huh. back, I, I don't know if my boxers were on or not. No, I don't think I. No, they them. weren't. They weren't. You were there. No. <laughs> yes, bro. Bro, bro. Your dogs were off. Your dogs they were, were for off. sure gone. <laughs> That's what I started realizing. They were kicking me out. Was my, <laughs> when my, she was putting my pants on for me. I'm like, damn, okay. Fine. And then they put me in a wheelchair and rolled me down while Kayla got the car. And then we got back to the Airbnb. I don't really remember much of it. The driving. Or back to the Airbnb. And then yeah, I you slept. were. You slept. <laughs> and then I slept. <laughs> and then everyone left me alone. And I could put a blanket over my head and just sleep for a while. Do you but, have. Um, the grumpiest face when you... mm. oh my god when you sleep your grump face that was that, that was at that was i don't always sleep like that that was at the, the oh, at the hotel because the lights were on so i'm like i'm like asleep but then i'm like <laughs> that, you need the second like your your eyes closed are not dark enough you have to push them down further to get like a second layer for you actually to sleep so you're like in like this third space i don't know oh my god my cheeks oh uh, <laughs> the point is uh, let your people get some sleep I don't oh know. my god I, I don't just remember, bro they gotta get you out for the next surgery <laughs> There's not enough rooms for me uh, to take a two-hour nap. I don't know. Kayla said, Kayla said they did try to wake me up for a good like hour and a half. I think they did let me stay a little longer than usual. Maybe it's because it was yeah. early. I don't know. They gave me they gave me 45 minutes to wake up, and I woke up before the 45 minutes. So I was just laying there, waiting for somebody to come in and tell oh me God, like everything's real. good. Yeah. <laughs> you woke up. You're like by yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just by myself. I'm just sitting there like... <laughs> oh my gosh. I just, just you just unlocked silent. a third memory. Oh my a God. memory. Yeah, I, there's that space that they take you after surgery, but before your room to wake up. Uh-huh. Okay, I, I was also in there for an hour. Okay, I see yeah. why. See, that's what, like, yeah, because Kayla, Kayla was like, they're waiting for him to wake up before they wheel him back to me. And I was like, okay, cool. And then she was like, okay, he's back here. He won't wake up. <laughs> what do I do? Like, the whole reason they wheeled you back there is because you woke up. <laughs> they said, no, we're going to need, we're going to need some backup reinforcements. He ain't coming, he ain't waking up. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. They're like, okay, maybe his wife can wake him up. <laughs> exactly. Hey, she, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so after we, they rolled me back to see Kayla and they got me awake and they got me in the car, they rolled mm. me down, got me in the car, drove me back to Airbnb. I got some sleep finally. And then when I woke up, it was like nine o'clock that same day. So it was about time to go back to bed, which was like totally fine with me. And I wasn't, we did not, I didn't get much content that day at all. <clears throat> yeah. And the next day, um, I had a, a, an appointment, a post-op appointment, but I didn't put the, like, I didn't think that I would be seeing it. Like I wasn't, I didn't really think what the appointment was for, but, mm -hmm. um, so I wasn't expecting to see my chest when they did. Um, I was just sitting there like all wrapped up in my, like the big circle and it's over there. I'm not going to get it. Uh, and it wraps all the way around and, um, they came in and I thought there was gonna, I thought there was like a shit ton more under my vest thing i thought yeah. there was like a lot more going on under there because i was just like standing very still <clears throat> and they when he he just came over and opened it up just right away he's like let's take a look and just opened it up and took the things off and he's just looking at it and i'm just like 
oh my god i'm not like i'm not gonna look down i'm not gonna look down what is it what is it what is it and he was like everything looks great love it love it and he turns around and i just like looked down real quick and my it was just my bolsters on top but yeah i could tell that they were gone i could see everything was just it was all completely flat with like these two big balls on my nipples but <laughs> the rest was completely flat and i couldn't even see my scars or anything i could just barely see and i was like trying to keep it together because the the guy was still in there and they were like you know they're very their bedside manner could use some this could use some uh extra training um but because they were just fast and in and out and efficient but while they were doing all that i was just like oh my god like what is happening on my chest like i'm so excited yeah. and i kept I, I was like looking at kayla i was like oh my god how does it look and she was like good it looks good and uh they were like they said that they were going to be right back and i can get dressed again um and as they were walking out they they heard me say holy shit because i was just like looking down and i was just like holy shit oh whoa babe they're gone they're gone they're gone and they just thought that was the funniest thing before they shut the door um Aww. and then i stood up and got to like just look at it with well, after they were gone me and kayla were just looking at them and uh just like looking at my incisions and i was just i was just elated i was so much it was like relaxed it was so relaxed but i yeah. was still I was still still very nauseous, like not yeah. nauseous in the sense like, like I feel sick, I'm gonna throw up. But like after, if I stared at them for too long, my incisions, it that like, it started to remind me that that just happened, and it made you feel like I like I just got bitten by a shark. Like <laughs> you know, it's like it's still fresh. Like okay, like right. take a couple of days to make it feel like okay, I'm no longer freshly bitten. <laughs> Yeah, right. You feel very fragile. Yeah, very slow. Because you're like freshly cut open. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 So I, we, uh, we did that appointment, and then we finally got to come home, rest, and all those things. Um, and uh, that was so nice to be back to the house. I slept in the recliner for a couple nights. Um, it was, it was it still is so much to digest all at once like yeah. i'm still i'm still sorting it all out i'm still like looking at my chest and like what even is this <clears throat> throughout the yeah. whole first week even with my nipple bolsters on and then at i had like a an appointment at seven days so that's when mm -hmm. they were going to take my nipple bolsters off for me to see mm -hmm. my actual nipples which for me was the great was the big deal the great unveiling yeah i i yeah. did ha i did feel a little more confident because where the bolsters were even if they were the size of the entire bolster i was like i like it like i like that like i can i think right. i can work with with if, once they take these off i think they're going to be in the right spot so i was feeling a little like more at ease that it they weren't they weren't too far gone, I guess. <laughs> they can't be that bad if they're underneath those. So, and I could kind of see the how small they were and stuff. Yeah. Um, and it was interesting because where my bolsters were and where my nipples were, there was like a circle on the inside, like towards my the center of my chest. Like they like they put my nipples here, but they drew the circles a little bit in. And like during surgery, you could tell he was like, no, I think it, I think I think they need to go over a little bit on each side. And if if he wouldn't have done that, I would have been a little bit like like concerned about like the placement and would have been like, you know, it's not it's not ideal, but I like it. I love it, you know. And the fact that he had scooted over him over just like strayed from the plan or whatever. It was, mm -hmm. it was perfect because I didn't see, he didn't mark me up before. I just, he, he didn't mark you. No, he didn't mark. He, he took like a Listen. Sharpie and went under my chest like this went with the Sharpie. And that was all he did. And then the rest was I'm, after I was asleep, I guess. I'm going to be real with you here. And you know, I'm not a surgeon and I'm not a medical professional, no, but no. you know, like your results are great. Mm -hmm. Um, you got drain free, which we were both nervous about, but right. you're, you're not having any complications or issues and your healing is much better because of that. Your nipples look great already. It looks like, uh, they haven't even been removed from your body. They're totally pink and I can't see any scarring at all. I'm fucking jealous. I hate you. Um, but I, this surgeon, 
it's just like a lot of the things is i'm just like i'm just not vibing with this guy you know like yeah. i the way that you weren't explained anything he didn't give you any aftercare instructions and now the aftercare instructions that you're getting were from the pdf that my surgeon sent me it's just you know like right and like when when you were saying how uh you said when when the nurse was because they weren't talking to you when they came in and when right. they came to remove your bolsters you said you said that you're you're gonna you're gonna tell me what you're doing uh, yeah yeah so yeah so my bolt when i when i did that <clears throat> the first time if you watch our other episode of my pre-op appointment i was explaining you know it's kind of like a little silent like kind of like like a real thick awkward t tense silenceness like constantly and so i told kayla like you know if we go into this and they're because i'm excited to see my nipples like i'm jacked so if we go into this and they're being silent i'm gonna i'm gonna be the most friendliest motherfucker you've ever seen <laughs> so i was like all right we're doing this <clears throat> so when we went in there um i and they called my name back i saw the nurse that i was going back and i was like okay it's the same lady uh and when we went back back towards the back i just started saying like she, you know, she was still very quiet and I just said, you know, how's it going? How's the day going or whatever? Like trying to like have the conversation start or whatever, um, you know, and she, and she was like, you know, good. How about yours? Blah, blah, blah. And then the nurse, the doctor came in and was like, oh, she's gonna, you're gonna, she's gonna take off your bolsters. And I was like, and, and, and then I'll come, you know, I'll, I'll be right back to check on um, your results. <clears throat> and so I'm like, okay, this lady is going to be the one taking off my bolsters. Like that is like it, it, i don't know i wasn't looking forward to it just just because i it was so awkward and she hadn't been being friendly yeah and she hadn't been being friendly and um, since my, i was so thankful that my wife was there because anytime i'm in an uncomfortable situation with a cis woman um i like where i feel like maybe there's some really weird tension or they're making they're uncomfortable by me or i don't know what's going on she's like mm -hmm. she always like she's always good at being like the in-between like coming closer to me like in this case she was coming to take off my nipple bolsters and it was going to be like a foot away from me so she was coming over and i kind of like leaned away from her and was like okay look i need i need you to go very slow and i need you to tell me what you're going to do before you do it because i am anxious <laughs> that's right. just why I, and she was like okay all right and then she so like she wasn't really gonna explain beforehand so she explained what she was gonna do and i was like okay that sounds good and she slowly did it on this side and um and it was all right and then it was i mean it was uncomfortable it's like uh cutting you know you have to pull out the strings like they they cut them off and then they pull out the strings they missed some i had to pull some off just the other day it was gross um yeah but uh when she came to the other side <clears throat> caleb really wanted to see for some reason and she mm -hmm. was like in the corner of the waiting room but and once she switched to the other side and i was i was still the whole time trying to think of things to say so we can like keep the, like talking like so it's not so awkward and kayla came right. out of her chair all the way up over and was like do you mind if i watch and the lady's like no you don't mind i don't mind at all and then they were talking to each other about what she was doing and it kind of like curved the attention away from what yeah I, like the awkwardness that I, so i'm i i do still plan to send like a solid email and being like like a couple little things not just about the bedside manner stuff but like a lot of my discharge like the discharge paperwork that i did get from the caremont place um yeah. they were they were really sweet over there all those people were really really nice um oh, good. but towards the end that paperwork that i got was uh it, the pay the i think the paper that was what am i trying to think of pamphlet Anyway, the information that they had given me, the stack of papers, was for um, someone who was getting a breast removed for um, cancer uh, from cancer. Oh. So there was like a, there was even a paper in there for like the Cancer Institute number, blah, blah, blah. When, you, when you're wasn't. first diagnosed with cancer, this is normal to feel blah, 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 blah. Like, they didn't have like a gender affirming top surgery pamphlet. Oh God, no, no, no way. See what anyway. the fuck? See what the fuck? Because There's some female, my, a lot of female up in there. Yeah, they missed. Yeah, they got your gender wrong, even though your legal gender is male. Yeah, 
And then when I was checking has out, been? when I was checking out for my thing, they never it it, it wasn't switched. Even they didn't my most switch, recent, even though you fucking fixed even it. I told them it was on my ID. Yeah, so I've I've definitely had some weird, some um, awkward experiences there. I I I do plan on like notifying some people. Uh, yeah. And doing some digging, like no, like of, of in the department because you know I want I want it to be a better experience for the people because there are, there's already a shit ton of people that are still going to and like I have been getting DMs on TikTok, um, uh, and on um, Instagram and people being like you know hey I, I have him surgery with him next month or and at both times um, uh, that I was there I saw someone uh, with like a, a, like a pride trans flag on like I, their shirt or whatever so the trans people are going here and trans people are they're getting a regular customers from the trans community and my i just i, I i'm not good at if just you're not gonna, saying anything so i'm gonna i'm gonna say something you should say something if you're gonna benefit off of the trans community like you need to be someone worth benefiting from us you know like you need if, to make people feel comfortable right what the fuck is this bullshit like yeah. you're not you weren't given any aftercare instructions what the fuck like if you didn't yeah, have was, the wherewithal like to like ask me or look or it up right you might you yeah. might have been lifting things and pulling things and fucked up your scars by now like yeah yeah the the instructions were not were nothing like what you got in yours and that's why mine kind of it seemed like mine were like for the couple days after and that was it so yeah uh it wasn't like for long term like it wasn't like for the month or whatever like in my appointment is with them is two weeks away two weeks away i've like so it's like my five it's five weeks yeah um and then he's gonna then i'll check it out and see again see him again but um yeah i don't know i will uh yeah that's it's been it's been an interesting situation like i said i'm super happy with my results but, yeah your results are fucking fantastic but i just think the way i think that he specifically might need to make some changes in the way that the op the, the workflow operation or having anything yeah in the, in the the foyer representing anything affirming yeah. or anything anywhere in any paper that I received in any point of this experience needs to say something about maybe like like it being a safe space so right at least give you a pamphlet about gender affirming top surgery and not double mastectomy due to breast cancer, cancer. <laughs> you know, yeah. like, breast cancer yeah. fuck I was like, all right, all right. So, yeah, so my- And another thing what, that my surgeon did that your surgeon didn't, he marked me before surgery while he like went over, like had me repeat what the what the surgery I was getting. So like he's sitting in front of me marking me up and yeah. he's like, what surgery are we performing today? And yeah. I said, a, a double, a double chest, mastectomy with liposuction and free nipple grafts and he's like yes good okay and are you you ready to do and i was like yes good and yeah. he's like i'm just marking where the incisions are going to go and you know i looked at him and i was like all right cool yeah <laughs> i don't know what these triangles are and what these arrows yeah, you had mean a ton. but sure <laughs> you had a, you had a ton of markings up there yeah i had a lot but also you know i had bigums so Right. <laughs> I uh, maybe they had to cut it in a certain way to get the because uh, you know the the skin that's Indeed. here now used to be up here. Right. Right. So maybe that because I had like triangles. He cut like triangles. Okay, I see. Yeah. And so I think that's he had to cut triangles in order to like lay down the scar nice and round with with what me having all the all the titty that I had. <laughs> Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. It was so much titty and now it's no titty. Now there's nothing. <laughs> oh, yes. Exactly. It's so exciting. I'm loving it. I just wanted to make sure and catch you guys up to date because like I hadn't been able to sit down and talk with you or let you know what's been going on. Um I I love that we were able to have two different top surgery experiences. 
Yes. Yes. Like very cute. drain free. Yeah. Versus you having Not drains. Drains. Yeah. And like yeah. what to expect. Mm -hmm. I feel. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good now. I think, um, right now I just feel, I still have some swelling on, um, yeah. especially on my one side. Um, mm -hmm. but on the other side, it just kind of feels like I've got a little rope along under my skin, along my incision. It feels like there's, oh yeah, that rope. goes away. That goes yeah. away pretty quickly. Right. Yeah. And my, um, yeah. how's, uh, do, do you feel your nipples yet? I can barely feel them. Right on. But, but I can't feel mine at all. Like, I, I feel like I'm more feeling around the outside of my nipple than my actual nipple. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't feel like I have, like, touch sensation, but I do feel pins and needles all over the place. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, constantly against my shirt. I'm still getting... Uh, pins and needles. Yeah. It's like, still coming sh back. shooting nerve pain. Yep, they still come. They're still coming back. Nerves they are coming said back online. They said that that whole process can take two years. Okay, I see. Yeah, yeah, I could see. So that. it's a lot of reconnecting, a lot of skin to reconnect. But yeah, I'll uh, I'll make sure to um, let you guys know how my uh, next follow up appointment is, and then we'll probably do in a, a reveal. Oh, we're not getting the reveal today. You want a reveal today? I mean, your nipples look so good, dude. I think. Okay, I think well, maybe we let's, should. Let's think about this. If Wait. you made it, if you made it to the end of the episode, I mean. Yeah, I feel like you can get some nip at the end deserve. if you made it this far. Okay, just real quick here, like. Oh. Oh my God! Look at those nipples. Those nipples have never been removed from your body. I don't care who you are. It's. Oh my God. You look so good. Thanks, bro. Even with the swelling. It's so good. I cannot believe it. I still have a lot of the skin, the, the skin glue. Glue, oh, yeah. Coming off, and my nipples are here to stay. Your fucking looks so good. Thanks so much. I'm in love. <laughs> I'm constantly just standing there in the mirror and Kayla just walks by and it's like, he just flexes in my like, yep. <laughs> yep. That's Here great. I am.